difficult to be gay in Kenya because it's considered an African. Politicians have taken on themselves to turn LGBT or MSM issues as a weapon for them to advance their policies. Anyone can come and assault you and no one can be held accountable for. Someone also tells you of another scenario, like there's a time I went to the hospital and the doctor or nurse refused to treat me. I think because I was dressed in a certain way. The laws, the religions and the cultural practices are all against same-sex relationships. bill was signed into law, it was very difficult for us because we had to stop working. But we had the best case scenario and the worst case scenario. Like we partnered with other organizations and we worked behind under their names. So service delivery continued under a different name but it was actually us working. Our relationship with police has changed from the negative perception they used to have about gay men to the positive perception now that we can interact easily and freely without being afraid of arrest and also they can provide us with the security during our moonlight activities and talk about gay issues without any fear. One of the key components of SHAB has been REACT, which is Rights Evidence Action, a tool that was developed by Alliance to document human rights violations, but also to look at how to provide better HIV AIDS programming. Through the SHARP project, we have been able to train 80 doctors. We have been conducting a sensitization and training to healthcare workers in public facilities. The greatest achievement of the SHARP project was uh, support to the clinic, which is the wellness center that offers comprehensive services to MSM. From the nurse to the receptionist, they are all gay men, qualified people to work in that space. also leave a good, good legacy when it comes to service delivery. Before SHARP, we were just working within Kisumu. The reach was so limited. But when SHARP came, we could reach Kakamega, we could reach Bungoma, we could reach Busia County. We almost went tenfold in the number of people we are reaching. Through social media, we have been able to link MSM to party groups in their area. MSM do not necessarily need to come to girls, but they can even be reached in the comfort of their own homes or in the comfort of their own spaces. One of the objectives of SHARP was to mainstream men who have sex with men service delivery. So advocacy was important for us to get the policy makers to adjust the policies. We have been able to have key population representative in Kenya coordinating mechanism for Global Fund and they are able to influence resources allocation for MSMs. Previously the government will take us as probably an opposition, a threat, but now we can sit together on the table and do programming around HIV for our community. Because of SHARP, I have developed as a human being in my advocacy skills and my service delivery skills. And as an organization, Icebreakers has developed in financial management systems and in monitoring and evaluation systems. What makes me proud about SHARP is that we did what everyone thought was impossible. I cannot even express what SHARP has done. I think SHARP has been an elixir of hope to the MSM community. We have been really empowered as an organization, as a community, and we can now advocate for our own issues. We are key players. We are not just beneficiaries, but we are also partners with skills.